Hey guys, good morning. We've seen that thing on Facebook that has that guy that's in the car with Mariah Carey and she's like, all I want for Christmas is to sing my song. And then there's all these celebrity singers in the car singing her song. like the epitome of Christmas. I've also seen on Facebook, I feel like Facebook has turned into nothing but GIFs, little um, like videos, clips of funny things. Like hardly anyone updates their status with just words anymore. There's always like a GIF, a meme, what other uh, words there are for things like that. It's actually quite funny. But I've seen where um, there's one that says, my uh, my epitome, not epitome, but my perfect Christmas or something like that, and it's Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas, a hundred times, which is so true. Every time I hear this song, I genuinely think of Christmas. Anyway, it is about 8.15. I'm on my way to pick up Haley, Steph's daughter. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that. Because we are going to wrap some presents at the same ministry center um, for children which should be a lot of fun I'm very excited I've never done this before or volunteered for them during the holidays so I'm very very excited are you excited mama yes <laughs> I am okay so we'll just save that over here just in case okay Mama, you're doing so good. You guys, y'all are all doing fantastic. First bag of wrapped presents. This is so much fun. So much fun. Are you having fun, Mama? She's actually really good at it, too. There are seriously so many people here helping out. This really tugs at my heartstrings. There's so many people here. The warehouse is huge and there are probably at least 100 people here wrapping and the girls are doing so awesome. All the girls are here but doing so good. Makes my heart feel happy. Okay, long morning. Uh, I got home, went to go drop off Haley. I got home probably about one o'clock and I had some lunch and just sat there and kind of messed with social media mess check my email things like that on um, the desk has to work tonight so I am now uploading importing my footage I always get those terms confused importing my footage and I'm about to edit tonight's vlog because I work tomorrow and I because he works tonight, I would rather not have to do it after the girls go to bed. And it's too hard for me to leave them all downstairs while I come up here to edit. So it's so much easier doing it during the day. So I'm gonna edit, let it export. I will upload it later tonight. And that way I can make dinner and everything uh, while they're playing and I can stay downstairs. What's wrong? I'm just taking your stuff out. Oh, okay. Um, Emmy's folding her laundry. The small girls are downstairs with Andres. I actually need to check out Maddie's room. I'll probably have her come upstairs and help me clean up her room a bit because I did Autumn's yesterday, which I will show you guys when I'm done editing because I really need to do this. 3 p.m. He has to leave in not that long anyway. Check out my room. Trying to get the upstairs kind of straightened because it's just a hot mess. Though I feel like the whole house is not dirty, but there's just things lying everywhere, which is almost, I would almost rather it be dirty, like toilets need to be clean, the floor needs to be mopped, but you know, I would almost rather that than clutter and shoes and jackets and things like that lying everywhere. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Some people probably would rather have clutter that they could easily pick up than dusting and mopping type stuff. I would rather dust and mop than have to pick up clutter, so. Yeah, I'm going to start this, get it exporting, and then get about my day.
Okay, so I got a question on my recent grocery haul, how I make the sausage and cabbage. So you obviously could do it in many different ways, but this is how I do it. And this is how I found my family likes to eat it the best. Um, I take sausage, so the sausage I'm using is the Eckrich, I don't know, smoked sausage, the skinless. This one has pork, turkey, and beef. You can get beef, you can get turkey, you can get chicken, you can get pork, you can get whatever you want. You can get the one that's spicy with cheddar, with jalapenos, all kinds of stuff. But that's the one that I get. Last time I made this, I made this, I think I cooked the entire package and we had so much. So I cooked half, I'm doing half the package right now and I'm just, I think I'm going to freeze the other half because we're not going to have sausage anytime soon. Um, I threw in some white onion and some garlic, sauteed that up for a little while. I split the sausage in half lengthwise and then I just cut it so it's a bunch of small pieces and I'm just sizzling it up. Now, again, totally up to you. There's kind of a lot of grease and stuff in here. This one isn't the most fattening you can get, but it's not the least fattening either. And I just let it sit here and cook up. I let it get kind of charred like this one. And that's just the way that we like it. You could also smoke this. You could do it out on the grill and then throw it in the oven, or I mean on the stove top, whatever strikes your fancy. I get just a regular bag of coleslaw mix. You could use a regular head of cabbage and cut it yourself. I don't. I just use this. It's so much easier for me. So this one has green cabbage, carrots, and red cabbage. And um, I take the entire bag. This one is a 16 ounce, one pound bag. And once the sausage is done cooking, I will toss it in. Now with the sausage, I don't put any seasoning. I just cook up the sausage, no seasoning at all. Once I toss in the coleslaw, I will put some salt, pepper, a little bit of onion powder, and maybe a tiny bit of paprika, and that's it. Um, to this, I am going to do some matchstick carrots just because I don't feel like this is enough carrot. If you are just using cabbage, you could use regular carrots, you could use zucchini, you could use anything you want, really, but I'm using cabbage and a little bit of carrot. Last time, I think we put this over rice. This time, I think I'm just going to do it like this and make a side salad just to kind of cut out the carb in it. Um, we'll have croutons in the salad, so <laughs> that'll be enough carb and the dressing. So I think that's what I'm going to do, but it does work very well over rice or egg noodles. I've seen it over egg noodles. That seems to be really good. But yeah, that's how I do it. It's actually really simple. And it's not that expensive of a meal, and it goes a long way. So, let me know if you guys try it, or if you do different things to it. You could add bell peppers in here, or you could do more onion. We're just not huge fans of onion, you know, to where you can taste it. You could do all kinds of stuff. Let me know in the comments below if you guys do sausage and cabbage and how you guys make it, because maybe I'll have to alter my recipe next time. Okay, you see how much that whole bag of cabbage cooks down, you could honestly probably use at least half a head, if not the entire head of an actual cabbage. I'm just too lazy to chop it. So <laughs> that I use that entire bag of cabbage and it cooks down fine. No issues. Carrots too. Everything cooks down, kind of blends together. You could use this in lettuce wraps also. If you wanted to throw some baby corn or edamame like peas in a pod or water chestnuts you could totally do that too this is kind of how I make my lettuce wraps um, just with beet with sausage instead of beef so there's a the recipe for those of you that wanted to see it okay I'm trying to do the little tree that Catherine from do it on a dime did I don't feel like mine's coming out the shape of a tree but you know it is what it is. The girls are working on, huh? Full how you're starting. Oh, thank you. Uh, Maddie's doing her Christmas list. Thank you, Amy. Emmy's doing some Girl Scout swaps. Autumn's having some milk before bed. And yeah, I feel like my tree's coming out more like a triangle, but you know, like I said, what is? <laughs> 
I bought all this stuff, so hopefully it comes out okay. I guess if it doesn't, oh well. It was just some Dollar Tree stuff, right? I'm hoping I have enough of this stuff to do it. I feel like I'm not going to, but again, it is what it is. I'm just kind of waiting around for bedtime. It's a little, it's 7.03, just right past 7. The girls are going to do some of their stuff for a little while, and then we're going to go get ready for bed. And I'm going to hit the sack early tonight because I have to go to work tomorrow. And I'm really not feeling good. I have been feeling nauseous since last night. Because you went on that ride. So you, went on that, you went on that ride too many times. Yeah, like I just, I feel... Too many drops. I feel yeah, kind of like I'm having an outer no, body no, experience, no. you know, like no, I feel that nauseous and I kind of have work. like an upset oh. stomach and I don't know. It is it what it is, back. like I said. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, my house sounds like a zoo. And I'm hoping tomorrow I wake up and feel better because that'll kind of stink having a whole day at work feeling like crap, you know? So, anyway, I will show you guys what this looks like when I'm done. Okay, we are so far behind on our advent calendar, so it's time to do them. Okay, Mama, wait, 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 wait. Let's do six. Put it here. Nope, here. Up here. Put it here. Good job. Great job, Autumn. Today's the ninth, right? Now put it on, Mama. Nope, nope. Here, let's try again. Let's try again, Mama. There we go. Nope, here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Adam. Yay! Yay, Adam. Okay, let's try again. Here. There we go. Great. Yay, Adam. Oh, okay. All right. There's another one. There's another one. Put it here. Yay! Okay, last one. Do that. Put it on here. Yay! Adam! No more. All done. All done. All done. Good job. Good job, Adam. The big girls are so far behind as well. All the way on the six. So you each get to do two. Yay! Look, I got a snowman. Mm, okay, put them up there. Okay, do number eight. Do number eight. Is she seven? A nine, yep. Yeah. Oh, no. I got some, Mommy. I got it. Okay. No, 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 no. Nope, just put yours. I do number seven and nine, mommy. Yep. That's not no, those need to go in the numbers that they're missing. Do number seven. An ornament. Oopsie. Oh, Madeline, did you just hit your head on that? Oh my God, child. <laughs> Yes. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, and clearly, I need more. So I either bought too big of, actually Andres got it, but we either got too big of a tomato, whatever that thing's called, um, and Catherine's must have been shorter or I packed it too tight. I don't know what happened because <laughs> she said she used five on hers 
and it took up the entire thing and I clearly still need probably at least that was five probably at least three probably more like four maybe even another five I don't know that stinks so hopefully I can get it done by Monday because I don't want this stuff just sitting here I want to be able to put it away and like make it look pretty you know so anyway that's part one of my DIY I'm trying to be quiet because I'm having a rough time with autumn falling asleep but this is literally all the clothes this big old Kohl's bag and that all the clothes that were decluttered from autumn's room Everything that doesn't fit her, Emmy's coughing. Everything that doesn't fit her, there's some, uh, there are some things in there from Maddie that doesn't, that isn't fitting her right now. Everything that's not fitting, Emmy has gone down to Maddie. A lot of it's still in great shape, so haven't gotten rid of any of her clothes but that. And then look at all the boots we accumulated downstairs. <laughs> like, first off, obviously we love black because it's just a sea of black boots. <laughs> But there are two pairs of snow boots there. Um, my winter boots, my leather, you know, like faux tall leather boots, and Maddie's winter boots. Is that it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five pairs of black boots that need to be put away. Insane. I know. Okay, I'm headed to bed. It is 8 23. I'll probably lay here for a little while. I'm really just not feeling good. I feel kind of gross. So, and in multiple ways, like I just am feeling dizzy. I was telling on the desk. I was editing earlier and I was editing the part of the vlog when we were at Six Flags, when we were on that crazy eight, um, like the eight ball game or ride. And honestly, just thinking about it makes my stomach turn. I was getting dizzy editing it. So it just, all day I've just felt kind of dizzy and nauseous and just like I felt last night. Why are you laughing? Because you said like nauseous, so everybody's gonna be like, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. and I'm not pregnant. <laughs> that is the first thing everyone thinks of when, especially when it's been a little while since you've had a baby. I mean, Autumn's 15 months. I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Let me put that out there again. Not pregnant. Uh, I have a very weak stomach, and I love rides. I love roller coasters. Most of, I tolerate most of them. <laughs> be quiet. Get out of my background. <laughs> God, um, I tolerate most of them. The ones that spin, whether it's a roller coaster, it can be on the ground, like the little teacups that the girls were in. It could be the most basic baby ride there is. If it spins, I'm getting nauseous, period. I just cannot do the spinning rides. I never really have been able to. And honestly, the older I get, the more roller coasters I ride on the worse it is because when we went last year, I think for my birthday, by that end of the roller coaster, I think we had ridden, huh, I know, it was a very, that very last one. What is that one called? It's the one up in the front of the, the park at Six Flags, but it's kind of like the Great White at, um, oh, I'm getting nauseous again, See at SeaWorld. What is that one called? Goliath. That's what it is. That one did me in. I was fine until that one. And I even didn't scream because sometimes I feel like when I scream and like get myself all riled up, it gives me a headache or it makes me more nauseous. But I didn't even do that and I was nauseous throwing up the rest of the night. It took a lot for me to get out of it. So I have ridden the crazy eight ball um, one with the girls before and I was fine last time. This time it just made me so nauseous, so nauseous. And I felt it the whole rest of the night and I felt it all day today. And I just feel like the older I get, the less I tolerate multiple rides in a row. Like I am definitely cannot stay at the theme park for hours and hours and hours and just ride whatever all day long. It, it just makes me too nauseous. My stomach is just so weak. So yeah, I've kind of been feeling just gross all day and dizzy and stuff so I'm going to try and call it an early night I have to work tomorrow so I will see you guys bright and early in the morning BT dubs I've been using this deep sleep pillow spray from this works that I got in my fat fit fab fit fun box and it has kind of a do you like the smell of it, it has kind of a natural smell like, like cloves or something no just 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 smell it you smell it no? 
I'll spray it over there. It's very strong. <laughs> you smell it? Yeah. You like it? Mm, Not really. Like he doesn't a, like it. Like it's very like, oof, like clean, woodsy type scent. So if you like that, definitely use this. But I do feel like it's a little calming. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to call it a night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today and we will see you tomorrow bright and early. Bye.